Hello, thanks for watching. Today I want to talk to you about something that is terribly undiagnosed or underdiagnosed in America, and I expect the entire Western world, and that's hypothyroidism. We always think about this as a condition in women, but it's becoming increasingly common in men. And if you don't have a doctor who knows how to diagnose this, you can be left suffering with symptoms that will ultimately ruin your health and you can't really do much about it. Now, before I go further, please take one second and hit that subscribe button for me, please. It helps me share this message with people who need to hear it. So it only takes a second. It won't kill you to click that button. So click the subscribe button and maybe even click the little bell so that you get a notification when I have another bright idea. So hypothyroidism. We all know our thyroid gland is about here in our throat. Uh, the thyroid gland is a very complicated physiological thing. Many, many doctors, I'll have to honestly say, don't really understand it that much. There are many family doctors and internal medicine doctors that if you have too many thyroid symptoms or uh, an abnormal lab value on your thyroid, they'll refer you immediately to a thyroid specialist, usually called an endocrinologist. But as many of your fellow patients will tell you, often you go see the endocrinologist and you leave without a new diagnosis, without anything helpful other than, yeah, I don't know, come see me in a year. So what I want to do today is try to educate you a little bit on this. I'm not going to go into too much detail because you can use the Google machine and you can use PubMed.gov and you can research this. And in about two hours, you'll be as smart as the average doctor on hypothyroidism. So as I said earlier, it's grossly underdiagnosed or just not diagnosed at all. There are so many men and women who have chronic severe fatigue, who have weight gain that they can't really explain, who have dry skin, dry brittle hair, uh, weight gain in the middle, that's kind of a classic thing. They, they'll start to lose the outer third of their eyebrows out here. And that's a classic indicator. If a doctor sees a patient with that symptom, they should be able to diagnose them as soon as they walk in the room before they even start talking. You ought to know what's wrong with that patient. Um, the tests that a, a doctor would check sometimes confuse the doctor. And so that's why I said many doctors will just refer you because it's really hard to understand. Um, I used to be a carpenter and a cabinet maker in a previous life. And so I use the analogy for those of you who are woodworkers, it's kind of like cutting crown mold. And what I mean by that is in order to cut crown mold properly, you have to cut it upside down and backwards. Uh, and carpenters will know what I mean by that. But the thyroid lab work, you almost have to interpret it upside down and backwards. Uh, TSH is not a thyroid hormone at all. It's actually a hormone that comes from the pituitary gland, which is part of your brain. So if you just have a TSH checked, that's really only telling you how your pituitary gland's functioning. It's not really telling you anything at all all about your thyroid function. So anytime you go to a doctor with thyroid symptoms and they only check a TSH, you haven't really been done a, a service by that, by that doctor. He really didn't earn his copay if that's all he did. Some doctors go a step further and they'll check a TSH and a free T4 and that's a little better, but that's still not a complete and thorough check. Many, many people suffering from severe hypothyroidism will have both of those tests still be normal until they're very far down into the disease spiral. So if, if, if I'm just checking a patient without thyroid symptoms, I'll usually check a TSH and a free T4 just as a routine check of their overall health. But if someone comes to me with specific symptoms of hypothyroidism or low thyroid, I'm going to check a complete thyroid panel and any doctor who's in any way trying to think of the human organism as a functional uh, anatomical and physiological organism should do the same. Uh, it won't take you much googling to figure out what that entire panel should entail and it's not just thyroid lab work it's also adrenal lab work it's also vitamins and minerals and other lab work as part of a full panel. The TSH, which is a thyrotropin stimulating hormone, many doctors consider that to be state of the art, but what you may not know, doctors and patients alike, is that the TSH test is more than 30 years old. 
So that's in no way state of the art. It's been around for a long, long time. Now, doctors back in the old days, before the TSH test was developed, they used to go by their patient's symptoms, which means they had to listen to their patient and examine their patient and not just blindly check a single lab test and then base their entire diagnosis on that one test. So what a good doctor should do is listen to your symptoms and look at your, your signs that you present physically and then check a full thyroid panel, only then can a good doctor make a reliable diagnosis and get you the medications that you need. There are millions and millions of people in the U.S. alone, not to mention the U.K., Australia, and other places who are suffering from hypo or low thyroid symptoms every day, and they're just not diagnosed, either because they think, oh, well, I just, I guess I just feel miserable. There's no point wasting a trip to the doctor for that. I'm, I'm in my 40s, I'm in my 50s, I'm in my 60s, I should feel miserable. No, 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 no. The, the 40 and 50 and 60, you should feel great. If all your hormones are optimized and your diet is good, you should feel great. You should be like your friend who you're jealous of, who always has all that energy and is always raring to go. That's how you should feel at 40, 50, 60, even 70. If, if your favorite thing in your house is your couch or your lazy boy recliner, there's something wrong. It's either your diet or your hormones. There's something wrong with you. You need to be checked by a good, functional-minded doctor. I don't want you to be one of those millions of people running around, not running around, actually lying around who feel miserable and think that's just their lot in life, that they're going to feel miserable because that is not how it should be. Now, if you go see your doctor and he checks just a TSH, maybe share with him a link to this video or maybe share with him my book, Lies My Doctor Told Me, and say, hey, Dr. Barry said that you should check more than just a TSH if I'm having these symptoms. Now, the average unthinking doctor is going to be irritated by that if you do that. And if he gets too irritated, then maybe you need to find a new doctor. But if he says, oh, wait, what are you talking about? And he seems educable, then maybe you can train your doctor to take better care of you. I just want you to have the best of care, whether that's with me or anybody around the world. If they're going to put on the white coat in the stethoscope, then they need to also do the thinking and do the job. Okay, this is Dr. Barry. I hope this was helpful. Please leave a comment down below. Any kind of uh, topics you'd like to hear for future videos, please leave me a comment because I'm always looking for new video ideas. Now, if this helped you or if you think it'll help a family member or a friend who has these symptoms, please share this on your social media right now so that they can get this message and they won't have to suffer any longer. Okay, see you next time.